Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding your infinite sum theory here. Let's get started. One thing we're probably going to do right away is to use partial fraction, get this one into the form of n plus b n plus 3. So all we did on the bottom is we factored here. If you walk through here, you have n plus 3 times a plus b times n. It's going to be equal to 1. And from here, you'll see a is equal to 1 third and b equal to minus 1 third. So let's just put that in there for now. And then here, then we have n equal to 1 to infinity, 2 over 3. And then you have 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 3. So let's get that form correct first. And then what we're going to do is, and here we recognize it's going to be a infinite series. It looks like a subtraction form. So all the cross term is going to be subtracted. Let's put a 2 third out and equal to 1 to infinity. And we have, let's write a couple of terms. When a equal to uh, 1, and plus 3. Okay, so let's exam here. 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 3. So when n equal to 1, you have 1 minus 1 over 4. Okay, then you're going to plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6. Okay, then it's starting to subtract. This one and this one is going to cancel. Minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5th cancels again, minus 1 over, um, here you have 8. All the way to plus 1 over n, bigger n, we're doing the partial sum here, and then partial sum 1 over n minus 3. Okay, so as you can see, the terms are left over are this one, this one will cancel with over here, and the last one is here. So if we do a partial sum is equal to n little n to bigger n, then you have uh, 1 minus 1 over n plus 3, and then plus half plus third. Okay. Half and third we can take care of. That's pretty easy. So we have n equal to 1 to bigger n. Partial sum is equal to this. Okay, so let's m plus 3 minus 1, m plus 3 plus 6 fifths. Okay, now we're going to take limit as big N goes to infinity of this partial sum. Then we have literally n plus 2 over n plus 3 plus 5 over 6. So majority work is actually over here. Now this one, if you divide it by n, that's 1 plus 2 over n, 1 plus 3 over n, and then plus 5, 6. Okay, as limit of big N goes to infinity, then this one is equal to 1 plus 5 over 6, which is equal to 6 and 11. So this is a closed, uh, closed sum. So limit of n need to go to infinity of the little n, s to the big n equal to 11 over 6. Okay, now let's go back over here and then use that. So basically, we calculated this one using the partial sum over there. So then I have 2 third times 11 over 6. That's 11 over 9 is our sum. This is a really good question. Well, that's how we handle finding the closed form for this submission here. Hope it's clear. Please share your comment on YouTube and vote like if you find it helpful. Thank you. Till next time, have a confident day.